around 200 head. Last time we were up, I was up here. You mentioned something about when the guys were doing their, um, you know, when they flew up in the air and they let out all of the smoke and they monitored it. Yeah. Did you guys see much of that? The happenings of that? Oh, we, we could see it every day. Yeah. yeah. See that? Like over there is where they want to put their their thermal plant up on top there, and uh, they did wind tests up there, and. Uh, they, most of the time, they had their wind going out of that way or out over towards the Bonaparte and down in there. But there's one day he just comes straight up the valley and he went straight up and went come right down along the mountains there and then it just dropped and it just fell right down into the, just right into the valley right floor. Back down here again. Yeah. So if it'll do that in three days at a time, well, it could, uh, it'd be half of the time it would be dropping right here in the valley. Well, what, do you, what do you think uh, about BC Hydro wanting to relocate us, put us down, relocate us somewhere? I don't like it. I would have liked to see it go through and counter the, uh, the other generation. I don't care about myself. I'm getting too damn young anyhow. <laughs> yeah. uh, how old are you, John? 91. So you've worked up in the Hat Creek Valley here, in the upper Hat Creek, for quite a number of years. Oh, uh, yeah. What, what kind of work did you do up there? I've well, done farm work and cowboy. What do you think is going to happen, John? I know that, you know, spring runoff is starting to happen. What do you think is going to happen to the water? It's not going to be a thick friendly. Do you think that maybe, uh, there might be a chance of having cattle in the future if this thing goes ahead. What what do you think will happen? No. If we things go ahead, this coal mine goes ahead, the stock, stock wouldn't be able to live here. There'd be nothing for them to eat, and the water wouldn't be fit for them to drink. And the same with the human beings. I guess you have the same feeling. I sure do, John. I hate like hell to see this place go and be destroyed by something, you know. I've lived in this valley for, well, you know, since the beginning there. And yeah. I don't want to, I'd like to live here or be able to come back here sometime and live again. I think we could get across to the, to the people that are in favor of the project if they sat down and listened to us and let us explain to them the meaning of, of um, say, the Hat Creek Valley and, and everything there. Um, but I think to them, the dollar is more important um, for them. And that's the only, only thing that they would like to see. Uh, more people, the more stores, the more you sell, the, the bigger you get, that type of thing. Uh, it would do them a lot of good, but it sure wouldn't do us any good. The prices of everything would go up, and um, we'd have we'd have um, quite a social impact as well as cultural. Um, we won't have access to our mountains and to the hunting grounds and berries as we as we did because a lot of the people there's so many roads in the area. A lot of the people on weekends or whatever would be going in. They don't understand understand what's going to be left after 35 years um, after all the coal has been taken out and the people just leave what are we going to be set uh, have there is just maybe another I guess you might be able to call it a ghost town